Hello, beautiful souls. Lisa Lyle here of Wisdom of the Heart Intuitive Healing on Facebook. And my website is www.lisalyle.com. So welcome to this week's intuitive energy forecast for the first week of August 2015. And this forecast will take us through today, which is August the 1st, straight through to next Sunday, which will be, or next Saturday, which will be the 8th, the Lion's Gate. And just before we get going, I'd like us all to take a moment and just breathe in to our connection to all living beings. So just taking a moment. And breathing in and just allowing any heaviness that's accumulated within or around you over the past week just to go away. We have been, bar been bombarded with um, images of um, loss this week and uh, bombarded with images that clearly demonstrate our um, lack of connection to those we inhabit and share Mother Earth with. So instead of really getting ourselves caught up in you know the need to seek justice what's most important is we stay in our heart center and we stay in the love that we each are and let us find new ways to communicate to support others in awakening to their divine connections to all living beings um, the old ways don't work anymore so this eye for an eye mentality is just not going to support uh, or be supported in the new paradigm of love and light and unity upon our earth. So thank you for being here. I trust you had a beautiful blue moon. I have set up um, event pages for the remaining moon circles. 11 more we have for this year, 2015. And if you'd like to be a part of those, there'll be a link down below that will take you to our new moon in Leo page. Also, for the first week of August only, up until the 8-8 Lion's Gate, I will be offering Magdalene, Intuitive Magdalene messages that support you in your ascension, and those will be offered for $54. So if you are interested, please click on the website link down below and um, enter your donation amount of $54, and I will be happy to bring messages through for you that support you where you are now on your ascension path. So without further ado, I'm being guided to uh, begin with um, some Archangel Michael energy. <laughs> Shambhala and it's the golden age it's the golden age of love right so just as I was saying this eye for an eye mentality it doesn't support our love connection to all living things and so we really need to get back to the basics what I'm seeing here is that this is really a time of blossoming this is a week of really sitting in the unconditional love that we each are and I almost feel like it's an important message to sit in stillness I have had this beautiful cardinal female cardinal chasing me around my backyard all day getting in really close for pictures and the message that kept coming was um, the divine feminine energy really supporting us and I felt that this bird kept bringing me the message of um, the, the female ancestors in my bloodline who are supporting and encouraging this heart-centered path, supporting this new way of being. Even though they may not have lived in that way in their lifetime, they're really encouraging me and others like me, like yourself, to go forward from this heart path, your heart. And build your beautiful dreams, build your beautiful life, bring to, um, bring to the surface your beautiful message of love and light that helps to draw people together instead of pitting people against one another. I mean, honestly, we're all, we've all got this inner thing going on, this inner dialogue where we have been in battle within ourselves for far too long. And this feels really like a gentle week to slow down, maybe disconnect. It feels like it's time to turn technology off. I have not been all that compelled to be on technology, be on social media because of the denser, heavier energy that we're working to release 
this blue moon that we just had two days ago, we're about 36 hours out still feeling the effects. And tell me, how many of you ha around you have noticed a little bit of lunacy this past week? We've seen it all week, and it's really amped up in the last 36 hours. And this speaks to the need for each of us to stay within our sacred center, to hold our power, anchor it in, be outside in nature, sit under a tree, look around, and as you look around at all the beauty that surrounds you, know that that beauty is also you. And allow your true self to show. There's no need for makeup and cover-ups and hiding anymore. This And this is acts of courage. We're, we're, we're working with Archangel Michael here. And he is courage, just like the energy of the lion. Courage. It's it's about courageously going forward and, and, and being proud of who you are. Not living pridefully. Being proud of who you are. Knowing that... You are all that you are meant to be right here and now in this moment. And it's up to each of us to clear away any of the clutter that prevents us from authentically living our lives in the here and now through honoring our connections. The next um, deck I've been called to work with is the Magdalene Oracle. And there's the card that wants to come through. And intimacy. And this is more than sexual intimacy. I mean, sexu sex, uh, um, sex is not necessarily an intimate act, or intimacy has been taken away from that. We are guided to remember, when speaking about sex, that it is a sacred act. And of course it's intimate. And we've got all these things, young people are being taught that certain things aren't sex and certain things aren't intimate. And I'm like, whoa, yes it is. And as we intimately connect with our heart and our truth, and as we make our intimate connections with all that we see, we grow in uh, our intimacy within relationships grows and this just isn't the um, partnership type of relationships this is all relationships as we're talking about bringing communities together bringing people together through the connections that we share we become more and more intimate what I'm being guided to is like the the earth tones in this card as well as the golden light which speaks of this golden age, golden light. So the earth tones on this really speak to the need of needing to ground this week, being out in nature, really planting yourself down and allowing your roots to be nurtured through your connection to the earth, becoming more intimate in your connection to the earth. And that way, truly, and they're showing me this card with this card, so being coming into that still quiet place of unconditional love within you and honoring all of your intricate and intimate connections with all that you see. And finally, from the Gaia Oracle, the next card that wants to come as a guide for this week is there is a sense of loss and grief and sadness here. And through that, there's also another card that comes and it's this one, Rising Above. We are resurrected through our ability to honor that we feel anger at the senseless taking of lives, any lives, animal, human, or otherwise, that we feel this loss and anger. We have to feel the sadness that this brings up, and then as we feel that, we move beyond the pain. We move beyond that which keeps us trapped in this perpetual pain cycle, and we move to a place where we're able to be reborn reborn through the honoring of our intimate connections, our love connections with others as well as all that we see, animal kingdom, plant kingdom, everything, the waters, the heavens, all of it. And then we get to rise above. As we spend time in quiet contemplation this week and the stillness that resides in our heart, we're really asked to rise above any of this other stuff that keeps us weighed down, that keeps us from spreading our wings. It says clarity, freedom, and solution. So the solution, the, the answer is not found in the old ways. It's not found in anything previous to this moment. In this moment, we are guided to remember that we are pure source light on earth, 
here to live an abundant divine birthright, here to live free from restrictions, here to gain clarity, and here to know, and for many of us, we are growing, we are the pioneers of the new age, the new paradigm on earth, and the, there's the cardinal again, and um, the new solutions, there are solutions to every problem, and it's not to, to um, combat the, 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 um, the tragedy that we see with a similar type energy. And, and it's really about coming to that still place within so that we can courageously find our voice and use our voice that supports the lifting up of everyone, of others. It's not just a select few that are here to be lifted up. There's not just a select few that are the chosen ones. We all are. We chose. We chose to come and have this experience. And believe it or not, the loss of life that we have witnessed around, those souls also chose to be a catalyst for change on earth. And I'm thinking in particular our lion friend who um, senselessly lost his life in the last couple of weeks and who we're all very much feeling that energy this week. We, he chose that path and, and he, as he has now um, uh, moved to the spirit realm, he looks down upon the, the light that has been shone in the wake of his death and in the darkness surrounding his death and he is very proud mm -hmm. and we are to be proud as well of our own divine light and our own compassion and, and really to allow our compassion to lead the way. And when we really move into this place of unconditional love, we even know that those who are very uh, closed still and do not see the error of their ways now see. And it's not us, up to us to make sure that anyone sees or pays for the wrongs done. We've all committed wrongs. We've all committed um, sin, if you will. I don't even like that word, and yet I'm guided to use it. We have all sinned. And just because one's sin looks different than yours, that does not put us in a placement for judgment. We are here to unconditionally love. I hope you can hear the little cardinal uh, flying around and chirping around. She's somewhere above me right now. I can't quite see her. But again, it's magic. It really is the way of the divine feminine to support healing on earth. And we heal through the unconditional love that we are, the acceptance of this. And um, my very own little lion has come in to just reaffirm the point that we are all here, beings of love, light, respect, connection, and we are all here to honor and support one another as we wake up and continue to ascend to higher levels of consciousness on the planet than ever before. So thank you so much for doing your part. I look forward to being of service to you and bringing through some Magdalene messages. Remember, you can order yours up until 888, and um, they will be intuitive messages from the Divine Order of Magdalene Sisters uh, to support you on your ascension and your, your um yeah, your ascension up through this Lion Gates, Lion's Gate portal, which is now open and will remain open for much of August. I'm sending you so much love, light, respect, and gratitude. I wish for you a beautiful, peaceful week sitting in the stillness of the love that you are. Please do show your support with a thumbs up down below and feel free to like, comment, and share. I'm sending you so much love. Namaste. And don't forget, we are one.